To give you an idea of how big this tree is, I've got the belt off here. I've got a 32 inch waist. The circumference of this tree is more than three times the length of this belt. So that's about 96 inches. As it falls on the vehicles, it may be freezing. Take a look at that. The windshield mostly frozen. I just talked with an official from Norfolk Southern Railway. They tell me that uh, they do operate this section of track that runs underneath the Jennings Freeway here. And I was describing the size of the debris that we have here. We're talking large logs about a foot thick and other chunks of uh, railroad ties and large debris that's out here. We are on Prospect Street in Ravenna. This road actually closed right now. They've got the road closed sign up all because of a tree that is down just down the road. Well, Meg, this scene is pretty incredible here from Air Tracker 5. We're flying about three quarters of a mile away from the scene itself, but looking out the window, I can noticeably see the flames shooting through the roof. Hey, J.D., good morning. Hopped out of Storm Tracker 5 to give you a little different look at the conditions out here. You can kind of see uh, some of this precipitation bouncing and falling off my jacket right now, but a better look, you can take a look at the uh, street light to see just how steadily this is. We are following some breaking news on Good Morning Cleveland from Air Tracker 5. You're looking at crews responding to a house fire on Lake Road in Rocky River. Sarah, this is an awful fire here. Lake Avenue closed near the uh, Rocky River Bay Village border because of this fire. They just got this uh, ladder truck up and running and spraying water onto the roof. You can see uh, the car actually on its roof as traffic is uh, slow to make its way by this accident. Again, as you mentioned, this is 90 eastbound near East 222nd Street. We've got a couple of lanes closed. They've got the... Uh, Aero board out directing traffic away from where this crash is. Hey, Terrence, good morning. Yeah, we are flying over that scene right now, and I'll give you a look at what uh, troopers are dealing with right now. Now, this is 77 where the road is closed. You can see troopers have, there are several units on scene, and you can see one lone car uh, surrounded by some caution tape on the interstate. Now, I want to show you the backup because of this. Now, I'm going to play back some video that we just shot because of the area where this is. It's kind of on a bend, so it's difficult to see both the scene and the backup. But look at that line of cars. This is stretching about a mile. This is from about US 62, and it backs up just about to Whipple Avenue. We we're told that uh, they're detouring cars off of uh, 77 at 13th Street, but you can see that is a very long backup, and it's certainly going to cause some delays for drivers in the Canton area. Now, back to a live look at the scene. You can see that there still are several units. We're waiting on more information. OSP just telling us that they are investigating a incident here.